As Congress works to pass massive tax reform, one congressman is working to stop tax giveaways to Planned Parenthood. Under a loophole in the current law, cities, counties, and states can issue federally tax-free bonds to finance construction of abortion clinics. Representative Robert Pittenger of North Carolina has introduced the No Abortion Bonds Act. This bill would remove the tax-exempt status of any bond that flows to an abortion provider or abortion clinic. Joining us now from Capitol Hill is Representative Robert Pittenger of North Carolina, the sponsor of the No Abortion Bonds Act. Congressman, thank you for your time. Certainly good to be with you. You say American taxpayers have unknowingly been providing tax breaks to lower the costs of building abortion clinics. How can this be? Well, there's been a loophole uh, in the code that allowed for uh, these abortion, for these bonds to be sold for abortion clinics. Uh, these are tax-free bonds that uh, are usually used in municipal cases to build bridges or uh, infrastructure or schools. But uh, through this loophole, Planned Parenthood, for example, uh, was able to build and renovate a building in New York City, which became their headquarters, and uh, they had a $15 million tax-free bond to do it, and it was guaranteed by the taxpayer. Many Americans, if not most, are pro-life, but not every American is. Is that still reason enough to stop this tax loophole that you mentioned? Well, two-thirds of the American people really believe that uh, taxpayer funds should not be used for abortion. And so this is consistent with the beliefs of the American people. Congressman, tell us your strategy for this bill. Are you hopeful Republican leaders will incorporate your proposal into the massive tax code overhaul? And how much support, specifically bipartisan support, does your bill have? We have bipartisan support. We have Democrat uh, a couple of Democrat members, most of Republican. Uh, we have 87 co-sponsors at this point. Uh, Congressman Jeff Fortenberry, uh, Congressman Chris Smith, uh, Congresswoman Diane Black, uh, Congressman uh, Trent Franks, among others, are co-sponsors of this bill. So we have strong uh, leadership in our uh, House of Representatives right now supporting this. Speaking of pro-life legislation, there is a big push to include the Conscience Protection Act and the upcoming appropriations bill. Why is it so critical to advance conscience rights for pro-life individuals and healthcare workers? Absolutely. Uh, no one should be coerced or forced into doing something that's against their conscience, against their principles. Uh, we saw this with uh, the Little Sisters of the Poor. Uh, and we need to make sure that people's rights are protected, that someone should not uh, be in a position where they're forced, for example, to help perform an abortion. Finally, Congressman, why are you pro-life and why are you sponsoring the No Abortion Bonds Act? Well, as a Christian, I believe that life begins in the womb. Uh, you know, we've seen that even in sonograms today. Uh, I was many years ago in London and watched a little movie and it talked about the baby. The baby's one week old, the baby's two weeks old, the baby's three weeks old. And what was happening in that baby's life and the development of that baby. So this is a baby a life that cannot speak for itself. And so as a believer in Jesus Christ, I believe that I have a responsibility to speak for that baby. Representative Robert Pittenger of North Carolina, thank you for your time. Thank you very much.